We are looking at the Grade 11 IT Prac exam from November 2018 from the Eastern Cape. And we're dealing with question 4.3. So just to recap, in our first bit of this paper, in the first two videos, we did a sort procedure for this array of items that has an F or a D at the end of each item to determine if it's a food or a drink. And then we've got a corresponding parallel array called array cost. But in the question 4.2 that we complete in the previous video, we separated all the food items into a separate array and all the food costs into a separate array and all the drinks into a separate array and so on. Um, so this question deals just with the food process. So we are to make, because we did this in the question 4.2 of separating them into separate arrays, we only have to work with our food arrays that we created. So what they want to do, we want to clear the component. The information must be displayed in columns, set a tab to 150. Oh, I don't like it when they ask us to do this type of thing, but we'll do it. And the question is, when the button is selected, we must list all the food items and their menu price must be displayed. Um, just remember when you test this question, you're going to have to run the list of items button first before we can click on the food items, because otherwise it won't have the food array data in it. The menu price will be 15% VAT as well as a 45% markup. So that's actually a 60% markup if you think about it. So that's 60% markup. And the prices must be rounded up to the nearest whole number. Okay, and displayed like that. Hmm. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go to our question. We're going to click on the food prices. We're only going to use, if we had a food item array and a food cost array. So that's what we need to do. So first things first, we need to clear the rich edit. Dot lines, dot, or clear, sorry. Let's clear it. And then we need to set the tabs. Now, I need to try to remember how we do this. So let's try it. The rich edit. So there's only one tab. Dot, I think it's paragraph. Dot, I think there's a tab count. There we go. Tab count. We're going to set to one. So there's one tab. And then the tab count property paragraph dot tab square bracket now the first tab it's like a radio group the first tab is at position zero we're going to set that to 150. i think that's how we do it okay so that's that part done okay the list of all the food items must be displayed so we're going to have the word food item and price first of all so let's put in those headings uh, dot lines dot add we're going to add the word food Plus, how do we get that tab? A hash nine is the tab. And then, oh, it's food item, sorry. Missed it long. Food item. Followed by the brass. There we go. Okay, that's fantastic. Now we're going to go a loop that goes from one till however many food items we have. And we have a our food size variable, which tells me how many items are in the food array if we didn't use if we didn't separate the stuff into the arrays we would have to do that check again yeah if the last character is an f then display it and so on so it could have been quite complicated but that's fine we working with our food arrays and we display an item with the cost okay but the cost is different so let's we're going to work out that cost so i'm going to make another variable our cost of type real because we need to change the cost so we deal with each particular item let's take it. so array food cost r that's the cost of the current item food item at position one when it first runs and then two and three what do we want to do we want to increase it by 60 percent now there are lots of mathematical ways of doing that you can say multiply by 1.6 because it's multiplied by its full price plus 60 percent you could also do times it by 60 divided by 100 and that would be the 60 percent and you add that onto the current price you could do something like that so all of those are options and then they said it must round up it must go to the ceiling of that so if it's 5.2 it must go up to six it mustn't go down to five that's what a round would do so it rounds up so we're going to use the seal option ceiling just think of it as ceiling it goes to the top of that whole number if you want to go to the bottom of the number, so if you want 5.2 to go to 5, or you want 5.9 to go to 5, you would use the floor function. And then we are simply going to display in the rich edit, 
plant.add. We add in the item, food item, at position R. So at position one and then position two, and then we're going to add this R cost variable, which we're going to have float to string F displayed as a currency, FF currency, sorry, FF currency eight in the front and we want zero decimal places so that's why i'm putting the zero there probably want we could probably just put an r in front that could have also worked but i'm going to do that so we are displaying the food item and then the food price as a, a real with a r in front and no decimal and i think that's all it has to do is that it is that the 10 marks hmm. so we set the tabs set the headings is there a gap no, there's no gap so then go from one to the food size and display each of those food items okay so you see how easy it is now that we don't have to use the whole array and find the position of the last character to see if it's an f because we did all that in 4.2 and had a separate food array it makes this whole process a lot easier i'm assuming it works let's see if it works remember we can't click on that until we've separated them into the two arrays which this button does and then i click on food prices and is that correct mr long let's have a look oh there let's look those prices look very good they look like they're legit i think that is correct fantastic so that is question 4.3 for the other questions in this exam paper go to our youtube channel subscribe like us on facebook follow us on twitter and remember don't do it the long way do it the mr long way